Good morning, everyone. This is me with no makeup. So, uh, I just wanted to do a video today because um, I have been losing a lot of weight. Uh, I think I've lost 10 pounds. Well, before I went to Tennessee, I lost 8 pounds. Then I went to Tennessee, I gained 4 pounds. And then when I came back, I've lost the 4 pounds plus 1. So, I've lost... Um, so let's see I've lost nine pounds ten pounds um, so I wanted to kind of share with you guys what I eat in a day so that's why I have no makeup on because I always eat breakfast before I put my makeup on it's just the thing it's what I do um, so I thought I would show you some of the foods that I either have for snacks or um, what I eat um, I know this diet that I'm on is called paleo I think you say it it's p-a-l-e-o and so it's like no sugar no dairy and no breads and that's basically the rules so I loosely follow them I don't follow them exactly but I have noticed a huge difference in how I feel and how much weight I've lost so um so I'm going to show you kind of like how I make my breakfast in the morning and what's in it and so I might do this more regularly if you guys like it um, when I was doing research on the paleo uh, diet, I did not find very many videos on like foods to make. So I thought maybe this might help other people out. Uh, so anyway, I am going to start making my breakfast. I'm just going to make a quick little breakfast omelet and you're going to kind of see what's in it. So hang tight. Okay, so I'm going to start off with heating up a about half a teaspoon of bacon fat in a pan and people are probably freaking out and they're like how can you have bacon fat that's so bad for you so um bacon fat is um I don't know however they explain it but your body can break down the fat a little bit better and it's not like I'm using a lot and you are allowed to have bacon with the paleo diet so just a heads up is an awesome diet because you're allowed to have bacon and it's not like I eat a pound of bacon a day but you know what I mean so anyway, in the pan, I had green pepper, chorizo sausage, uh, one cremini mushroom, and then I just finished it off with a green pepper, and I'm just giving it a really good toss. I don't like to overcook my green onions, so I just kind of like cook them until, I don't know, maybe even 30 seconds is too long. Then I am cracking in two eggs, and this is how I do like a lazy omelet rather than cracking in a bowl and then whisking them and pouring it over top because I hate doing dishes. So I just kind of put them in, the crack them in the pan and then just kind of mix it all up. Just put everything together. And then I put the lid on top for about a minute or two until it's kind of set. And then I'm gonna plate it with a side of half of an auto sliced avocado and it's really yummy, it takes about five minutes, it's good. So this is my snack for today, carrots, cucumbers, and a banana. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I hate lunch because I always feel like either we have the same thing or it's hard to find something to eat. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make today. I'm gonna make a salad just with leftover stuff out of the fridge. So I just have an array of stuff here and then I'm gonna make my own salad dressing. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, just hang tight. I'm gonna put you up on my fancy little stand here that way made me. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have sliced up some leftover roast beef that I had grilled the other day. It was amazingly good. And then we had some corn on the cob and I'm just cutting off a little bit of the corn on the cob and I'm going to put it on a plate and I'm going to heat it up for about 45 seconds. The meat and the corn don't have to be super hot um, because it's for a salad. So it's just to kind of warm them up. Um, in the bowl for the salad dressing, I have one tablespoon of olive oil and then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And this is not the expensive kind of mustard. It's just the El Cheapo Dijon mustard. And I'm just mixing it up real good. And then I'm going to add in one teaspoon at a time of the maple syrup. So I do two full uh, teaspoons of maple syrup, but I just do one at a time just to kind of make it easier to blend. And then I also taste it too, just in case it's like, doesn't need any more syrup and then I add a little bit of pepper and then that's pretty much it for the dressing and then I'm just gonna set that aside and then as for the veggies which you kind of already seen I'm gonna start off with some leaf lettuce and this is quite a bit of lettuce but I like I said I eat lots of salads 
And so it's, um, then I put some cucumbers and then a little bit of tomato. And I'm just kind of putting everything in a bowl. I just, uh, I'm going to toss it in a minute, but it's just going to make it easier for me to see how much food I actually have in the bowl. So I'm chopping up some radishes too because those were in the fridge. And it's just kind of a nice added little crunch as well. And then I am going to put that all in a giant bowl, toss it with the salad dressing, and then put it back in the bowl that I had. And that salad dressing is really good. It's like a honey mustard kind not well, it's kind of like a honey mustard dressing, except it's maple syrup dressing. So um, and then gonna put that all back in the bowl, and then I'm just gonna put the roast beef and the corn on top. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see. I'm sure it's gonna taste good. I'm trying to get some lettuce here. So here we go, salad. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Anyway, that's lunch. Okay, everyone. So today it's uh, supper time right now, and we used to be grilling or barbecuing, depending on what part of the country you're in. Anyway, we are having. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this. Okay, around. so I gotta tell you what we're having. So we are having. Um, let me flip that over so you can see. So I have chicken legs. Uh, that is for everybody. This is spaghetti squash. That is for me. And those are roasted potatoes. And those are for the boys. And then I also have bait. Um, like green beans inside and that's going to be supper and the only thing I'll do to the spaghetti squash is I'll probably just put it in with a uh, little bit of seasoning on top of it and then that's it so like salt pepper and then that's going to be it so nothing else on top of it um, I do have homemade mayo uh, payload homemade mayo that if I do feel like it needs a little bit of something else I do like the homemade mayo because it's kind of like almost like a substitute for butter for me and these chicken have nothing on them other than the Louisiana uh, Creole seasoning and that's it so uh, nothing extra so I just wanted to show you that and I will show you what the finished supper looks 